The video for January the 7th, 2017, is entitled Determining Truth in a Disinfo Age. This is not a time when it is easy to separate truth from fiction. Lies permeate every aspect of human culture. For most of my life, I thought I knew what was true. It was love. To me, love and truth are the same thing. However, finding them on a planet of lies is more than, more than just a challenge. It is virtually impossible. Those who claim to know anything are often proved to be incorrect. The things they say would happen simply fail to occur. Yes, I have come across many things in my life that gave hope of real change, yet they failed to materialize. While I hear that still small voice from time to time, mostly I witness a cacophony of failed promises. Are we wrong to expect experientially verifiable fulfillment of long-standing promises? As you can tell from the title and the blurb, I'm still wrestling with things that I thought would materialize long before now, and here they are still going on and on. I've seen stories that the Trump election, in fact, the, the recent election, was just a sham that there's really a, a restored republic government ready to take, o take over and that uh, nobody in the current establishment, including Donald Trump, are going to take the office of president. I'm not telling you that that's true, but I'm telling you that's some of the chatter that I'm getting from sources that I've been communicating with in some cases for many years. Uh, I've also been told that there's going to be this revaluation of currency and everything is going to become gold and silver and precious metal backed, commodity backed, whatever you want to call it. And the whole economic system is going to collapse and we're going to experience great wealth, the people that, are, that want to do good. That's what I'm told. We're going, we're going to experience great wealth and we're going to be able to uh, hire all sorts of changes and pay for all sorts of changes in the world because of the great wealth that has been given to, to those of us that have been dreamers and visionaries. Uh, I mean, I have many friends that have been involved in this for a long time. I mean, I have, until six months ago, I wasn't involved in any of the financial stuff ever. I mean, I, that was not my game. It uh, was not something that I wanted to be involved in. But I was talked into investing a little bit of money into a, a, another currency. And I've been told that it was going to mature. When I first bought it, it was going to mature in, um, in uh, July the 4th. Actually, by July the 4th, it was going to be, be manifest. Then it was going to be a little bit later, and then it was going to be the end of the fiscal year, which is September 30th. Then it was going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, and one by one, dates came and went, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's interesting. I used to believe that my friend, the ambassador, was, uh, was part of the positive changes. And as an Illuminati insider, he was what's happening to many Illuminati insiders. He's having a, a transformation of, of perception and thought and purpose. Um, and it's interesting, I, when I needed help in, uh, when I was in Australia, which he had reconnected with me prior to that trip, none of the help was forthcoming. And lots of things that were promised to me failed to appear. And there was a long history in that relationship that uh, never materialized. And then I was called the liar. <laughs> and I got a cryptic email from him on a Facebook message from him uh, just today. And uh, basically, not basically, it was a, a warning of sorts 
that uh, I need to watch out because uh, the truth is going to come out. Well, if the truth comes out, I'll be okay because I've made it a point all of my life to do my very best to tell the truth as I understood it to be. I've not always been 100% right, but when I would say something, it was because I believed it was true, believed it was real. That includes the Republic and many other things that I've been involved in over the course of my life. I wanted real change, something that can be substantiated, something that can be experienced in, in physical reality, not something that's a sweet by and by somewhere else in another dimension after we die. That's not a fulfillment of any promise that I've ever uh, believed was true. And I, again, believe this stuff since I was a little kid, although, of course, it's taken on various twists and turns over the course of my life. But nevertheless, the basis has still been truth and love, and truth and love are the same thing. You can't have love that's based on a lie, and you can't have truth where there is not love. I mean, they work together. They're like the, the twin, a twin couple that's inseparable, um, twin flames or whatever that are inseparable elements. And that's what I've looked for, but we live in an age where virtually everything we've been told is riddled with lies. That doesn't mean that there's no truth in any of it. It just means that there's so many lies, it's hard to do, uh, determine the truth. It's hard to uh, differentiate between truth and error. It's, it's hard to know for sure because so much of it has been disinformation. I mean, this is an age of, of disinformation and it's horrible how we've been abused over and over and over again, lifetime after lifetime throughout our human existence, going back millennia, millennia, folks, thousands of years, maybe even hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. I don't know. But I do know that I've put my whole life behind the idea of the kingdom of heaven on earth, where the powers that are actually behind all of creation actually bring it to pass that we, that we can have a fulfillment of promises, not just more delay and more uh, disappointment, but that we can actually find substantiation of that which we believed was good and that, that the ultimate creator was standing behind it I wish I knew all of that to be true. And if I've misled people, that's not been ever my intention. It's not my intention now. I'm speaking from my heart to the best of my ability and telling the truth as best I can based on what I'm experiencing, based on what I feel. And I was going to say based on what I know, but I'm wondering how much of what I think I know is real. You know, that's the dilemma. That's the conundrum that I find myself in. And I'm not the only one that's in this, this boat of struggling to find meaning in a world where meaning seems to be not at all what those of us with good intentions would like to see. Anyway, folks, uh, continue to do your best as I'm continuing to do my best to be as optimistic as I can be. But optimism is certainly a challenge. And sometimes I don't feel, especially over the past year, I don't feel like I'm up for that challenge, although who knows. I'm trying to change and to become more optimistic, but it's hard. Anyway, uh, I hope this explanation makes some sense to you. I thank those of you, again, that have hung in there with me through this, this tremendous trial that I've gone through. And I look forward to working with some of you as we hopefully at some point in our lifetime get to bring some of the promises into actual uh, manifestation. That would be a, an amazing thing. Again, thanks for listening. Namaste.